Welcome to another video by Ferris Technology. One thing about creating your own database is that when you get into the database, you wonder, well, where do I start? Well, a good place to start is the templates that are already pre-made in Access that are available once you open the application. So let's check out a few of my favorite templates. Come on, let's look. So as I open up Microsoft Access here, what you see, of course, here is blank database. Well, yeah, I could start with a blank database and I could fuss with going ahead and creating tables and queries and building my own content. But wait a minute, there's a more templates button here. So let's take a quick look at the possibilities that exist in pre-made templates, simple, similar to the Excel templates or Word templates that you see in either one of those two applications. Only these are full featured, fully written databases that you can start putting in data right from opening them up. So let's look at a few of my favorites. Now, as I scroll down here, one that I know caught my eye right here is, I'm an instructor. This is for students. If you're an instructor for anything from kindergarten, preschool, all the way up through college, this could be very helpful to you especially if you're in a, a lower budget sort of situation where there's not a lot of automation that's provided for you to use. The student's database actually is quite good to keep track of contact information, allergies of your students and various information that you would need or want as, as a teacher. Coming down here, there's a nutrition tracking software. If you want a software to track what you're eating, how much you're eating, and what your weight is and what successes you have having in your diet or just your nutrition program. It's a great database to use there. Coming down a little bit further, you have a home inventory database here. And who doesn't need a home inventory? I mean, anybody that's ever been through a catastrophic loss where they've lost a significant part of their home or belongings has to prove to the insurance company that you had these assets. That database actually lets you put in those assets, take pictures of it, and include those pictures in the database itself that's ready to print. It's just make sure you save it on the cloud so that if you your computer is destroyed, you can be able to re still retrieve it. But home inventory, an excellent, excellent one. Coming just below here is a lending library. You know, some of us like to manage lending libraries at our at our workplace. We have a, a set of bookshelves where everybody can bring in books and, and check them out and share them among others. You know, it beats the book just sitting on your shelf gathering dust all the time after you've read it, right? So, you know, this creates a lending library that you can check them out, check them in and see who has them and at least keep track of who uh, you need to get the book or CD or whatever you're lending back from. Okay, and then you have a personal account ledger here where you can input your finances and inputting the finances allows you, of course, to manage your budgets and so forth. A great little tool. Now, if you own a small business, a lot of times you have a lot of things that you want to track, but you know, who wants to go to the store and get a commercial package of software when you're just starting out a business and you really don't know where the next dime is going to come from to, to continue paying all of your expenses. That first year can be really tough. Well, Access can run to the help here at, by an inventory program that lets you track inventory within your company, either inventory that you own, that you do your business with, or inventory that you buy and sell with. But here's another thing. If you go a little bit further, you've got a time and billing software. Here you can bill your time if you're a professional service. You can also bill products and bill and create the invoices for all of your customers, either repeat billings or other type of, of billings. When, if you have vehicles that regularly run in your small business, that, that you own and need to keep maintenance records for, there's a vehicle maintenance database all ready and built for you. Now, every company has to have a sales force. If you don't sell product, or either it being yourself and your hours or physical product, you can't get very far. Well, there's a database in here for a sales pipeline. 
They can manage all your contacts from the first contact you make with a potential customer to the finally bringing them in as a full-time customer and making the sale. All of these here are pre-packaged and ready. All you have to do is click them and open up the template. You give it the name that you want to, you save it wherever you want to save it, and it's available for you uh, to use and to continue working with until you outgrow it and can actually afford a commercial package of software. So I hope this has helped you. Thanks for watching. If you like what you saw, please hit the like button and I hope to see you on the channel again sometime. Thanks.